Hi everyone! So today I haven't had a whole video. This was a little bit of a spontaneous purchase um, because, well, one of the things, so this um, pack of um, pans I had in my Amazon basket sitting for a while because I wasn't too sure do I really have to get it or not? I was trying to kind of think I've got enough, enough pens and uh, if I get them it has to be something like mind-blowing and um, anyways I discovered these pens through James Burke and um, in one of the videos he um, used these pens to illustrate um, his uh, girl faces and it was really really pretty because um it has it's a water soluble pen so when you use a little bit of water on top it goes um flows into a very pretty color so i thought that actually i'd like to try something and it's a brown color so sometimes black is too harsh although black has been historically my favorite color to draw with but i thought for the faces i want to try something different and explore a little bit the reason i was kind of um thinking whether i should get it or not is because it's a pack of 12 i think yeah so it's a pack of 12 browning um pans it's the pilot maika g tag um, G Tech C pan and it's got um, a 0 0.4 super fine ultra fine um, tip so it's beautiful basically it's very similar to my all-time favorite black water soluble pan which is this one here I've been using this pan for ages before even I got um, into art before I um, saw anyone use it, I discovered it myself just in a um, in an art shop. So this is the Pilot G-Tech C4 and um, it's just a black, regular black ink and it's beautiful as well if you like water soluble effect. And this pen looks very different. I don't know whether it's the exact same ink as this one, just in a different color because the pen, pen itself looks very different. It's much prettier. It has this little nook here, which is great to stop it from rolling. So as you can see, it just kind of tilts to one side and stays there. Um, it's got like a little plasticky diamond kind of thing at the top. Of the lid and it's just it looks like a nice pan and it, it's beautiful I'll show you some examples so just to come back quickly the reason I got this big pack is because um, I'm on Amazon Prime and this pan was delivered like next day and I was so excited to try it that I didn't didn't want to wait um, for the other ones I think the other ones were somewhere from China or something like that and it would have taken weeks and weeks so if I mean to buy a single pen and it works out a lot cheaper anyway this I think I paid about eight quid for the pack of 12 I mean it's like ends up super cheap if you buy a single pen it will be like two or three pounds so great saving tip and then you can give maybe a couple to your friends or family I will show you just some sneak peek so basically that's um just playing around with them i like this girl so much let me know if you like this type of style and i can um give you a little tutorial but basically that's the color um the ink um dilutes into so it's really really pretty it's like a browny reddish pinkish color um and it's very it's it's a lot more interesting than drawing with black so i've got some tutorial ideas um but let me know if you like that sort of style and the other two things i got were one um my own discovery and second i kind of knew about these watercolors so let me start with the watercolors um i knew that the um, fine tech do other metallic watercolors and you know that I got that gold palette oh, let me just pull it out quickly so here's the palette that I got originally and you know how much I love it so 
it's called nice big um, pens and it's the what is it called M600 palette and they are the best gold watercolors that I've ever come across with if you try to um, create some gold effects on um, watercolor and use sort of like a Schmincke or Daniel Smith gold it will be a completely different effect than if you go in with these because these are a lot more opaque but they flow beautifully um, um, in it when the paper is a little bit moist so they're gorgeous so anyways I never thought I'll go ahead and buy any other because I didn't like that sort of idea of having multiple metallic colors it's not really my thing except for the gold however recently uh, I had this idea of drawing um, some small illustrations to put in my uh, frames so I ordered this um, palette and mind you it's super expensive it's like 37 quid it's quite small um, and I didn't realize that it is like a mini version because when I was ordering it so I nice. thought the pants would be the same size as these because nowhere did it say that these are minis however so the palette is um, M 1200 and it's called pearl colors the great thing is that it was available on um, prime as well so i got it very quickly but basically this is what it looks like it's super cute very small and it's actually great for traveling however i didn't realize it i thought i was paying <laughs> quite a, a costly price for the size uh, of these pants and these are removable but these do not come out they are stuck in there so and the colors are beautiful let me just read out what they are i will do a separate video with swatching all of them out so that you can see so silver pearl fine gold shining pink red fine lilac red violet um, red brown it's gorgeous color this one bronze blue green green pearl blue silver and blue pearl now these um, colors kind of are duochrome so these one two three they um, probably would look beautiful in darker colors I don't know whether you can pick it up in the camera but the duochrome here is stunning it um, doesn't pick up on the camera as well as in reality. Actually, no, there is another duochrome. It looks like a duochrome here. So four, in fact. So these two here and these two here. Yeah, let's see what they look like on swatches so then I can um, give you a better idea. So these are, this is my new edition. And yeah, quite excited about these. So I'll play around with them and let you know how that goes. The next thing, actually, before I forget, this mat here is really comfortable. It's got a little bit of padding, but not too, so not too much. So when you press on it, it doesn't feel like it's too soft. So you can totally write on it and draw on it without your pen going through the, the paper, if that makes sense. And it just kind of feels nice and it looks good as well. And it's a really good size. Um, it's basically 80 centimeters across and it's roughly 43 and a half centimeters tall. So it's not covering your entire desk, but most part of it. And then on top of the desk, I have enough space to display all my pencils and washi tape and all of that. So that's perfect. And the thickness of it is about three millimeters, just to give you an idea so it's not not too thick um so that's that and then finally let's talk about the book which i'm super excited about because i just found it randomly on amazon when i was looking through things and so excited about it because it's so good i mean it's look how thick it is it's great value for money um and I got it for a good price, uh, something like £14 or something. I think it's absolutely great price for that. And it is done by this girl. Anyways, her name is Jenna Rainey. And 
she is just so talented. I absolutely love this type of style. Basically, this book is um, it says everyday watercolor, learn to paint watercolor in 30 days. So she gives you an exercise to do for every day and it's just amazing. I mean, if you want to really, really um, learn watercoloring quite quick, this is just such a good way to do it. It's so fun. There is plenty to read. There are beautiful illustrations. I will do a flip through um, soon so you can see that. But just to give you the idea of the layout and the look of it, it's done really beautifully. Um, all the illustrations are beautiful and they're not too complicated. You know, when you look at them, you don't feel... Um, like it's impossible to create and she guides you through and, and teaches you and it's a variety of things from brush strokes to uh, just anything um textures and so on so it's a very neat book i'm so happy i discovered it i think it was published only last year so it's a very relatively new book and i'm so excited to share it with you but like i said um I will do a full flip through. I think you will really, really enjoy this book. I have been adding quite a few books on watercolors recently to my um, to my um, collection, just because I don't know. It, it gives me joy to learn from other artists, and I feel that that improves my um, my watercolor style as well. So that is that all the links will be included below in case you are um in a rush and can't wait for me to swatch any of those or give you a full review but basically that is it so thanks for watching and see you soon Mason, do you want to say see you soon yeah see you soon see you soon <laughs>